If you grew up listening to Vicente Fernandez from a young age and you get the opportunity to meet him, it is seriously a religious experience. <laughs> My mom and I are entering the room. The only thing missing is the freaking. <laughs> you don't look at him, you look at the floor. Out of respect, you just look at the floor and come on, ma. We get all the way up to him and I see boots. And when I see the boots, my mom and I both just. <laughs> he knows what you're doing. He knows you're checking him out. So what he does is he poses, okay? Vicente stands there and he poses. He'll have the sombrero, the hat, to his side. And then he doesn't look at you, he looks away. <laughs> and he sticks his chest out and he stands there looking like a big ass bottle of tapatio at Costco. And then he looked at me and he recognized me, not as a comedian, but because I was there the week before and my photo was hanging outside his door. It, it's whoever's there last, you know, they always rotate the photo. So he sees me and he's like, I go, yeah, that's me outside, yeah. Hola. <laughs> oh, oh, Vicente, Vicente, I'm sorry. Um, Le presento mi mamá. I'm like, oh my God, I think I just offered up my mom to Vicente Fernandez. <laughs> She's like 73, better late than never, ma, get him. <laughs> my mom starts walking up to Vicente. He was so nice. He goes out to shake my mom's hand and my mom grabs his hand and I don't know where she got this strength and energy from, but she grabbed him and pulled him in. Hard, like the video game. Get over here! And then hooked him. She hooked him and she starts screaming into his chest. Mi chente! Mi chente! Mi chente! I'm like, oh my God, she's getting horny. <laughs> <laughs>